Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Guy here. We'll be playing Portal Knights today. We'll be using our mage, Dumbledore. Okay, so in this video, Dumbledore is a guy that I haven't used. Well, I realized that Dumbledore is a guy that I haven't used much, and I'd like to get him to level 30 because he's actually the only character that I've never really gone to level 30. Not really a mage type, as you guys may have noticed. And we'll be testing out some stuff to see how it works. So, as I am a guy who likes the boss, I shall pause. Let's take a look and see what all they have, though. I don't have much options here. And then I have potions, so that's good. Everything's a bit weak. I think I do have some gear though. Level 16 gear, so I was kind of prepared for this. I should say mage is a type of class that I haven't played often. But like so any type of RPG games that has a mage option. I hardly ever choose mage. I either choose like a warrior, a bowman, or a thief, as you guys probably realized. Alright, so let's see how this goes. What level is this weapon anyways? Leveled I don't know. That's 24 damage. That's not that's not bad I guess. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, he's weak. Am I even high enough level for this? He's level 8. What level is this guy? 10? Doesn't say. But I remember people did these bosses and it was like a big thing. At least when it first, when it first came out to me. Or oh, I say when it was new to me. It felt so... Oh, shoot, I ate that. I ate that. I only have 5 bars of health? What? Okay, so I got him down. Mad damage, mad damage. Look at that. That's not bad at all. The DPS is pretty solid. Luckily, he doesn't do that jumping thing. But like I was saying, so I, what I want to do is I want to get this guy to level 30. I want to actually see what he is, and I haven't really given him a chance. They chose to use other characters, other classes. I say, let's say, let's try that skill. I didn't do that much damage, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm gonna commit, guys. I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna try and get to level 30. So for those of you who haven't gotten a chance taking a look, I just wanna mention one more time that I got a new banner for my um, YouTube page as well as my Twitter page. And I want you guys to take a look at it and let me know what you think, because I really invested some good time into it. I can try and help design. I didn't make it personally, of course, but. That's not what matters. What matters is that it's an, I think it's nice and I hope you guys like it. I'm trying to slowly improve the channel and in terms of the con the type of content I put as well as the quality of content that I um, upload. And I hope you guys um, could enjoy this content that I upload. Oh, where get hit? Okay, dodge that. Great. Alright, we're gonna finish it with this go. Nice. We get 1.5k experience and we almost leveled up. So, what I'm going to try and do is at least get one more, at least get one level before the video's out. I got a cape, and I got a recipe. Oh, we leveled up. Okay. Okay. Nice. So, we're level 9. We get some more intelligence, more attributes points that we're going to use. And so, I have Wand Expert and Mana Shield. Add the 30% chance that any damage will consume your mana instead of health. And I got Frost Armor Melee Attackers are slowed by 30-50% for 3 seconds. Hmm. Frost Armor, okay. We need a cape. Does this give plus 8 mana regeneration? And we need a ring. But we don't have a ring. We'll use this. Uh -huh. Nice, we got a new recipe. So what is the next step? us in terms of training. So, so that was really fun though, so I enjoyed that. Let's just take a look at all the options we could use for gear. Even though I have something here, I don't know if I necessarily like this. Plus 73 mana, plus 12 mana re health regeneration. Brewery, which doesn't really do much for me. And then 61 health, I guess we could use this, but I don't necessarily like it. I'm sure we will have better options. Okay, so luckily for us, we have, we should have a level 30 mage weapon, which I think is inside here. Where is it? Do we have it? I thought we did. Okay, right here. We have a level 30 mage weapon. And what we should do is get some cool um, spells that will help us with our damage. I had some before, but I don't know what I did with it. But we'll definitely find it. 
I also want to mention is that I did have the level 30 Arch Lone Field weapon for the mage, but I kind of gave my own away. Kind of regret it now, but that's fine. I can always get another one. But look at that eyeball, though. This one pointed out how it's looking at us. But moving on to our next um, part of the mission of getting this character is that we need to pick a mount. This guy does not have a mount, and we need to find something appropriate to that of a mage. Okay. So chicken, uh, chicken isn't good for us. A hog is also isn't good for us. Let's jump inside here. Hmm. I think a horse. What you guys think? Let's, let's look at the next set of stuff though. So we have the stags. Not really. F oh, maybe a stag may work. A white stag might work. That might work. Yeah. Oh, maybe this might work. I don't know. I can't decide. Let's go with the stag. We'll, we'll go with the white stag. Mm -hmm. And he'll be a mount. Let's put him on and let's see how he looks. Yes. Yes, we look like a mage. We look like we're prepared for it. Okay. So, on to the next chapter. So, let's travel to Land Lubber's Leap. We should have some nice quests to do there, so I think we'll do those. In the process of doing them, I think we will get a couple of good levels. I hope, I'm hoping. Alright, well, let's see what this guy is saying. Well, my friend, I see you are no worse for wear after your encounter with the Ancient Worm. I only wish I could be myself of old, so we could have fought him together. Give pause for the next great beast, and your path is mighty and more dangerous still. The pirate Brian Bird has told him you need to unlock its bottle, though alas, he is no longer in landlubber's leap. Thanks for that guy, thanks for that. Wait, 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 wait. What's in the mailbox? A green snake? Nice. Wait, wait, no, no. Collect it. Oh, I have a pet already. Hmm, nah. I will not sacrifice this pet slot here for my green snake. I don't really have any quest options for me. They might or might not have done them already. But I'm not sure. And what's in this hold? Well, I guess I saw it already. That is a. Uh, uh, Help me out guys, help me out, uh, anchor, that is an anchor. Uh, some enemies that are worthy of my um, prowess. I, would, I think I need a better weapon man, these really can't be that strong and it's not even checking for me. Ooh. Ooh. That damage. It's obviously not beat to fire. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, we, we beat it. We got good experience. I really need to upgrade my weapon. But I think it's about level 9, he's level 10, but yeah, we're not doing like enough damage. Well, I could be spoiled. I usually like to, um. I usually always have the like, guy level character, so this hasn't been a problem in a while. I think the last character I leveled up was made Druid, and I thought it did it pretty quickly. It was fun though. Ah, you know it would be fun. I just had the thought. We can go ahead and do some quests in South Heart Landing, and this will help us level up our character. At least I think it will. So, fortunately, here I have already done the quest, and if I am not mistaken, I think this is the first one. Great level 5. Perfect for us. This would be a great way to get some experience, some good experience as well. As, what else? I guess some points? Energy points? Whatever you call it. Not energy points, um, the currency, that's the currency that you use here. I can't remember. Okay, let's go. We're level 9. We should be strong enough. What I, what I think I should have done though is like, check if I could have got like the poison ring, the baby poison ring. Oh, poison ring one is the most like appropriate one. But then that always is useful. 
Maybe get like a frost relic or some relics to use. Why is it coming so slowly? Okay. You know, it'd be funny if I finish this whole mission and then it doesn't give much experience, but I think it does though. My memory serves me right. Getting some good scraps. Ah, ha, ha. How do you guys think about my character design? I think the little beard thing is like appropriate. Look at that damage. Okay, so if, oh, so you get experience at the end of each one? Is that it? Or even you fight the big guy? Not sure, but we'll figure it out. Let's go prepare for the next wave. What I want to know is that... Um, what, what main characters you guys use? Like, what's your main? Is it like the druid since the druid has been released, or are you sticking with the oldies, like the warrior, the mage, or the bowman? The rogue is something that never has really like stuck with me, but you know, you got to level 30 nonetheless. I thought it was going to be something great, but it just didn't hit home for me. Oh, let me. Do, do, would you like to see my um, rogue build? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm dying. I'm dying. You guys just watched me die. Wait, would you guys like to see my rogue build? But I had to use it though. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, right? If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff, um, give us a like and subscribe so you can see more content. More well, nice content that is, and other content that I upload. I really enjoy these um, battle defense, relic defense, I should say, that's what it's called. I think the Dru the Druid DLC is one of the best DLCs Battle Knights posted, but they only posted like two really like two main updates or DLCs, as you say. Okay, this experience. Before that, it was the what did they post before? The Rogue DLC, which is nice. For my dodging skills, crazy. I think his DPS isn't bad though. At least I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Oh, I missed one. That's great. So we finished two waves already. I think we did them pretty quickly. Now we're going to the third wave. After this wave, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare for the big boss at the end. What's it called? Um, the Slime Queen. Okay, we're taking care. We're taking care of those guys. That magic armor really does like save you, though. But I personally feel like all of the monsters should give experience, and not just the big guys. The readers, I think that's what they call them. Take this one up pretty quickly because it's weak to fire. Here's another reader. Like it, it consistently does 30 damage. You think it'll do more? Wait, 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 wait. Look at all that. Jesus. They're ganging us. They're ganging us. I think the warriors made me lazy. Because its close range skills are awesome. And I don't know. If, I don't know if it's just me or it's like the mechanics of the game, like design, mainly for close range. 
But I find that the warrior is better for me. It's a type of place that I do. I'm more brute strength. Um, beat every, knock everybody down type of thing. Type of way. Alright, so we're going to get two icy traps and two flame traps. There we go. We're going to put them down. We're going to alternate them. At least that's the plan. Okay, we will start with the flame, then we'll go to icy, flame, icy. Hopefully we'll, we'll get a couple more coins and we'll be able to purchase another um, trap. Okay, let's quickly start this air. But in terms of leveling speed, I don't know if this is the best thing. Like I said, I've always found that doing the um, Winter Wonderland gives the most experience. So what you have to do is like let somebody else who's level 30 do the Winter Wonderland, then you log into the game, and then you get like the level 35 experience. Because if you do it without, if you do it by yourself, you, if you do it, say, say, uh, say for example, if you if I do it now, I would log into Winter Wonderland and I'll get like a level 9 version, which wouldn't give me the most experience. So you have to find someone who. Is level 30, log into the Winter Wonderland world, and then you get good experience. That's if you don't have the patience of they like, doing it this type of way. But I found that when I was, um, did I miss a monster? Or did I get him? I found that when I was unlocking the world and leveling up, it was more fun because I could do it in tandem. But when you have everything unlocked and you don't want to do another world, then, and you don't want to wait to level up, that's the best thing. Also, um, spamming bosses also was fun. So like when I had my druid, I was spamming like the what the boss called then the Hollow King, and I find that it was fun. I got I was looking for all of the different types of loot I could possibly get, as well as get an experience. So I enjoyed that immensely. Come on, come on! Was that the last boss? I keep saying boss, last reader. I did 137 damage, that's a lot. Okay, so we got enough scraps for one more trap. Which I will get, because I will definitely need the assistance in fighting this boss by myself. Let's go flame trap, we're going for damage. So, I'm hoping that I can beat it though. But the plan is to um, try and beat it before it crosses this line. I think after that, it does like a lot of damage. Well, not a lot of damage, but I won't be able to do that much damage. But luckily, it's beat to fire, and that's to our advantage. I forget I missed these two here, but that's fine. Moving on. Oh wow. Jeez, I pay us eight dollar damage. I have mad skills. I think I got a bit of experience just now. Will I level up? Will this give me a level? I bet that'd be the most appropriate thing to give me a nice level. I'm gonna dodge that. Come 
come on, come on, come on, come on. I have to get this. I will not let any pass me. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, got it. The boss didn't come in. I will get these guys here. Okay. Boss didn't come in. There's a lot of pressure, man. I really want to get all these readers. Time for the boss. Okay, we might get it. We're down to 50% HP. We're down to one third HP. We're down to one sixth of the HP. You guys like my mom? And we beat him. What do we get as a gift? Did I miss it? Just stolen some scrap. Come on, what, what did I get? You'll see when we leave. Okay, full five waves completed. I got everything but no chests. Not bad. Alright, I didn't level up, but I got 357 of those blue coins, which isn't bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because I did. If you guys want to see more, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully by then I'll do some off-screen grinding. And I should be to like level 12, 13 maybe. Because that's the plan. Catch you guys in the next one.